Welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Monday, September 24th, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. In January, the U.S. government took down Mega Upload, but founder Kim.com is preparing to come back with a vengeance. Coding work for the new Mega Upload is nearly finished. Servers have been ordered and investors are lining up. A return of the file hosting site appears to be looming. We're now joined by John Casaretto, contributing editor at SiliconANGLE, with breaking analysis on the latest installment in the mega upload debacle. Welcome, John. Good morning. So what are the charges against mega upload founder Kim.com? Can you summarize those for us? Yeah, basically, in summary, um, the charges against them have been um, in regards to copyright infringement. So a lot of the uh, classic um, infringement uh, such as movies and, and music and the uh, RIAA, uh, those types of things um, are the bulk of the, the case against him and we've seen those types of things. Um, Kim.com has a history of, uh, of uh, cases that have been brought against him and uh, he's been caught doing a bunch of things. The guy's a bit notorious so uh, the news is uh, pretty big uh, that uh, this service will be coming back. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. So tell us, what can we expect from this new and uh, re re rebirthed, I guess, re <laughs> excuse me, this new mega upload? What is it all about? Well, apparently, well, he's promising bigger, better, faster. Um, he's offering also in the new service, he's talking about one-click encryption of all data transfers on the fly. Um, so, you know, it's really geared towards keeping the activities that people are doing with file transfers uh, private, fast. Um, you know, whether it's you know your personal files or you're just transferring files or whatever the case might be. Um, it it uh, you know it, it definitely opens the door to uh, to things that are illicit, and, and I think that's the the gist of the case here is um, the fact that that's how the the service has been used predominantly in the past. So with the rebirth of the new site, how can Kim.com avoid running into trouble again? Um, well, he's got a bit of a, um, a position right now where they, uh, one of the stories that emerged today was that there was some unlawful spying. Um, and it, it would appear that um, they, they, were, they were basically spying on his conversations um, and using that information in their cases against him. So that invalidates a, a huge part of his case, and anything they try to tie to him would have to be from, from here on forward. And uh, so he's definitely you know, gearing for uh, the next stage, and um, he's becoming a sort of an activist in a way. Um, so a lot of people are falling in with, uh, with this cause, and uh, it's interesting. Um, but uh, it's, uh, you know, the sad thing is, is that you know, even if they uh, shut down these servers, shut down the service again, or, you know, continue this battle as they do with uh, the Pirate Bay and, it, you know, different hacker sites and different file trading sites, there will always be a different way. It, so it's almost impossible to shut down, you know, piracy in general. It's just how easy are they going to make it? And that's where Kim.com is trying to um, step up and, you know, um, restore his service and bring back um, his service. He's got a, a, a database of users, allegedly, um, from the previous incarnation of the service um, where he could easily bring back, you know, the, the volume of users that he had before to some degree. So it seems that .com has really sort of shied away from the role of hacktivist that he defined for himself in the days following 9-11. Now, in this recent defiant return to business, do you see that as an act of capitalism or hacktivism? I think it's more along the lines of hacktivism, uh, absolutely. I think uh, he's, he's definitely made some, uh, some uh, announcements. Um, and boasted uh, pretty strongly, I mean, uh, especially against uh, uh, Barack Obama. Uh, he blames President Obama for a lot of the destruction of his uh, business. Um, so he is definitely on a, on a, a war path here to, to get back up here and uh, uh, get his service back up and running and, you know, get back into the swing of things as soon as he can. On the basis of public data, did the official actions and the shutdown of Mega Upload hinder in any way the flow of piracy? No, no. I mean, 
I haven't looked at specific. Um, yeah, it it still exists. It continues out there. There's there's always been alternatives out there. I think we've covered that on the site, as far as you know, um, other file transfers and um, you know places to do that kind of thing. But uh, you know, there's always going to be some some level of it out there. Um, it's just a matter of how easy it is for people. And I think that um, it, it won't be long before somebody steps up to the game and and has you know, the, the organization and, and the structure to roll that out and make it easily available. So, I think it's interesting to note that despite the ongoing criminal case, partners and investors are still happy to be involved with Kim.com. Any reason investors aren't hesitant to get involved with the organization? You know, that's a good question and maybe something better for uh, attorneys. Perhaps uh, a history of, uh, you know, uh, just being legally above uh, untouchable or just a history of not really being um, them being able to really nail down anything anything down on Kim.com I think maybe perhaps that would be the case it, it's a good question so, so we talked earlier um, about the ongoing allegations uh, we should note that it's forbidden by law from conducting surveillance on New Zealand citizens or permanent res residents in the country um, government Communications Security Bureau of New Zealand, which is sort of equivalent to the CIA in the U.S., is being accused of illegally intercepting the communications and the individuals in the Mega Upload case. So what chance do you think Mega Upload has of winning a case like this? Well, I think that you know, anytime you've got a, a breach of, uh, of a policy like that, um, and, and they're using that, you know, as as the bulk of the case against him as, as how some of the evidence was acquired and being utilized, um, I, I think he stands a very good chance of, of getting out of that. And, and it's probably um, the it's probably the reason why they've gotten to this stage where you know he's made these, these bold pronouncements. He's had uh, inside access to what information they've, they have on him. Um, he's fought pretty strongly for that. He's spent a lot of money on, on legal fees and um, so it, it'll be ongoing, and this will continue, you know, well after this this service comes up. And you know, there's a chance that it could crash and burn, and never stand. Um, but uh, you know, chances are, uh, with the notoriety and and all else, that uh, it, there will be some time where we'll be hearing a lot in, in the weeks and months, perhaps years to come. Could the ongoing charges be causing a delay in the new site's launch date at all? No, I, I don't think so. Um, I think he, that he's operating in, in multiple uh, nations and multiple countries around the world. Um, I, I, don't, I don't see with the type of resources that he has that really being an, something that's really affecting the, the launch of it. Um, I think that perhaps, you know, at a minimum, again, um, the whole reason, the whole um, state that we're at, you know, where he's at in terms of... Uh, this spying and everything else that's going on, uh, maybe the reason why he's even saying, making these announcements that, hey, we're coming out with this service. Hey, you know, it's going to be bigger and better and it's going to, you know, it's going to be uh, encrypted and we're going to be able to do all this. Um, so he's a, he's definitely a, uh, you know, the type of guy who uh, likes to be the center of attention. Um, and more and more of these, these events give him more and more publicity, which I think is really what he's after and, and really what makes his business what it is. Well, John, we appreciate your analysis. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Keep up to date with the latest in tech innovation by joining us daily at the news desk on SiliconANGLE TV.